PNN classification of breast cancer. Let us clear it one for once and all. This is T or tumor classification and this is node N classification. So TIS. It is ductal carcinoma in situ or Paget's disease. Then we have T1 where the breast carcinoma is less than 2 cm. We have T2 where it is 2 to 5 cm. And then we have T3 which is greater than 5 cm. T4 is a bit complex. T4A, T4B, T4C and T4D. In T4A, chest wall involvement. See, chest wall involvement means, means serratus anterior or intercostal muscles and not pectoralis major. T4B, it's skin involvement, ulcer, PUD, orange and satellite lesions. T4C is 4A plus 4P and T4D is inflammatory carcinoma. Then we have nodal staging where <coughs> N1 MIC which is MIC means micro metastasis then we have N1 which is ipsilateral mobile axillary ipsilateral mobile axillary then N2A is ipsilateral fixed or matted axillary then N2B is ipsilateral inter internal mammillary and no axillary so N1 is just ipsilateral mobile and axillary. N2A is also ipsilateral but it is fixed or matted but it is axillary. And N2B is internal mammillary and ipsilateral. Then we have N3B in which ipsilateral infraclavicular lymph nodes are involved. N3 uh, N3A is ipsilateral infraclavicular and N3B is ipsilateral internal mammillary plus axillary. We have seen that N2B is internal mammillary but uh, axillary lymph nodes are not involved. But in N3B internal mammillary plus axillary lymph nodes are involved. Then N3C is ipsilateral supraclavicular. So infraclavicular is N3A, supraclavicular is N3C internal mammillary are N3B and N2B.